I made this draft skull for a coworker, and when looking for the model itself, it reminded me of something that uh, I have almost forgotten myself. And that is, places like Smithsonian have over 2,000 models that you can print that are completely in public domain. NASA itself has over 124 objects that you can print. I think these are public domain, but they may be attribution, which is just linking back to NASA. And then I found out that Sketchfab has its own public domain uh, area for its own 3D models. So by clicking CC0, uh, all of these models should be in the public domain and be used for whatever you want them to be used for. I am currently printing this raven skull for my daughter. But this model, I think I was the next one I want to print. Even the draft skull that I used is CC by attribution, which is what I use, and it just requires that you attribute back to the original uh, artist or creator. Um, in my case, I just want a, you know a mention. In Sketchfab's case, it actually gives you a link that you can uh, copy and put on whatever you're uh, posting this. And that really only applies if you're selling the 3D print, which you're allowed to. And the draft skull did come out really nice. I am very happy for this. I'm honestly kind of sad that... Uh, I'm giving it to a coworker, but uh, this uh, rose, or sorry, vintage rose filament from 3D Max it actually turned out really cool. It's a very nice off-white. In fact, the more I think about it, the more I really want to try and figure out how to use the JWST images uh, and do something really cool 3D printed. Not like a litho paint, because I already did that, but something even cooler. If you have any ideas, let me know, because I would really like to experiment with images and make cool 3D prints with them.